President Biden saying, don't blame him for the record Again, high cost of gas. The national average hitting $4.37 $4 in Connecticut. In Connecticut. It's a record. As funny as this denier, seems, this I made a video also, you know, early on about a pending spike prices. As a result of the Russian-Ukrainian war, now fuel scarcity everywhere. Remember Russia is number two in oil worldwide. Now you see. Most things around the world usually start as a joke till it gets really serious, alright? I remember making a video some few weeks ago about the increase in price of stuffs. All right, based on the fact that Russia is uh, number two in oil production around the world and uh, the war is really going to impact the entire world, all right, in prices, all right, and it was like a joke. That video didn't really get much views. I believe most persons didn't really take it serious, but right now, it's all over the world. I thought it was only in Nigeria, but it's the United States, the United Kingdom. You can take a look at the video right here. So, it's still on my channel and it's still on my TikTok. Take a look at the video. This is how the war between Ukraine and Russia is going to affect the entire world. All right. I see most persons making memes online looking like, okay, this is between two countries that have no business with me. All right. So it has nothing to do with me, but it's going to affect the entire world. All right. This is it. This is what you must know. Russia is number two in oil production in the entire world. I know that um, the United States of America and um, NATO, all right, and NATO entirely, they are about to sanction Russia. And if they sanction Russia, it means that oil, Russia will no, no longer be selling oil to the world. And you know what that means? Oil means energy. And we need energy to produce almost everything. Your biscuit, your toothbrush, your whatever, they need energy. And now the prices of oil and gases, energy is going to be up, all right? And you know what that means? The prices of everything is going to be high. So... There's no need for war. All right, you can check out some videos of what other persons are actually saying about it. Oh, 161. Where is the UK government? What that is do you happen? What has happened? How you put press up like this? The war start now 10 days ago fresh. Listen, I give you invitation. My country go penetration, give democracy, democracy and take some patrol. We give you again. We always you take almost everything anyway. Take some more now. And put the price back down to normal. 110. I remember 110 and even some illegal petrol station give you for 99. What has happened here now, 160? How? Enough now, Putin, stop like that. We are now tired. <coughs> Corona, come back. Coronavirus. <coughs> Just Bozo, you are a weak man. You cannot finish this. It's weird that the price of gas changes, but like instantly at the pump. Do you, do you get what I'm saying? Like I feel like the change should only affect the gas that's on its way, not the gas that's already there. Like this gas has been here for a week, so technically that's the $4 gas. You know what I mean? Give me the $4 gas. In fact, give me the gas at the bottom of the tank. That's like the $2 shit. It's been there for a while. I'm gonna charge the $5 shit still coming. The price change, that price change. I want the stuff that's here now. I'm sure we're all aware of the huge increase in fuel prices. So here's a video about that today. I had dad ring me this morning and say, right, we're going to try driving at 53, 54 miles an hour. They're actually making fun of it, but as fun as it could be, it's as, it's also that serious, all right? It's also that serious. There might be, this is a warning of um, some economic meltdown from around, around the world, the entire world. So whatever you're doing, be sure that you are doing a lot more savings and a lot more investing all right that's the only way you're going to save yourself from all of this all right when things like this happens like i've said like i told you guys you should be doing more investing and more savings don't overspend be more calculative be very careful you know when things like this is beginning to happen there's always a lot of scam crime rates from everywhere all over the world so you have to be very careful and you know you have to keep put all right so when this depression pass you'll be on a good standing all right so follow my channel because i get to educate you on the real not i'm not making i don't edit much videos but i make things really really real things that actually is happening or going to happen based on analysis so you don't you know 
loose guard, if I must say, in my Nigerian way. All right, so see you in my next video.